Hey, it's Bobby from New Jersey back for a quick update on this experimental brewing system. Finally came up with a name. It's called the Brew Matrix. I agonized for a couple of weeks on all the different ways I could have named this thing, denoting how small the batch size was and the fact that it was going to be for experimental purposes, but uh, I ended up simplifying and going with the Brew Matrix. And uh, thanks for some of the feedback I received from the Homebrew Talk people. And uh, I'm running it through its paces, measuring the boil off rate, um, making sure that all the probes are properly calibrated. I had to uh, make some clip on thermo wells here. This is nice because I can kind of decide where I want the temperature probe to be located. When it's time for the boil, it obviously has to be in uh, the boiler when the mash basket's out of here. So I made them clip on to either the boiler or the mash basket. And I can kind of show you how the mash basket works. I just drop it in here. And if I really wanted to, like I said, I can take this and I can shove it into the mash basket to be a little bit more indicative of what the mash is. But it kind of all sits very close anyway, so it's not touching the bottom where the element is. I might just leave them here. And the plan is to uh, notch the lids just to leave the probe cable a little extra room. The, the probes are pretty well calibrated already. I, I went through that. They're all kind of a plus or minus one degree Fahrenheit uh, as checked with my Thermapen, which I trust a little bit more. And um, I'm able to get a pretty reasonable boil off rate at uh, about 75% power. These are 950 watt heater elements in these things. Uh, I've co uh, also calibrated a dipstick to measure the volume and uh, I started with uh, a gallon and a half pre-boil and it it does about three-eighths of a gallon per hour of boil off so I was able to make a brewfather profile to match what happens with these things I'm going to be running a uh, mash thickness of about three quarts per pound and so you know that's a gallon and a half of strike water for two pounds of grain that's about a 1050 OG I think is what the calculation was going to be I will end up sparging the basket with about a quart of water probably just use um, cold RO water so I don't have to have another heater for the sparge water and then when it's time to drain the basket I put these hooks on here. These are the same things that kind of keep the basket from touching the heating element and uh, they're just U-shaped and they're just welded on like that and then they get to just hang there and they're below the lip. The basket sits below the lip here so that there's no wort that's going to be uh, splashing around. So those will just hang there like that to drain. Could be ramping up to a boil while I'm sparging. And I'm um, looking forward to trying out some experimental splits on the hot side. Probably going to start with a Pilsner, German Pilsner, with the base malts being variable. I think I'm going to be going with uh, Best Malts Pils, Weirman Pils, um, Avant Garde, and the RAR North Star Pils to throw in a domestic option there. And... Uh, you know, I think everybody would want to know if uh, if a domestic inexpensive Pilsner malt delivered the same goods as a more expensive uh, Continental Pils and um, I'm just excited to see how much variation there is in all of those things while maintaining you know other similar characteristics of my favorite other you know German Pils recipe um, I know what what base malt I like, but I've also never gone head to head on the same batch, so we are going to find out. Um, I'm going to be posting some ideas on other split batches and soliciting feedback and votes on what people think would be the most interesting, and I'll be keeping you up to date on perhaps the video release schedule on uh, documenting these experiments. I think the challenge is, um, you know, just remembering to. Uh, capture as much video as possible and then uh, not forgetting to collect the feedback data that I get from homebrew club meetings and things like that I like to be able to um, produce whole videos where the 
final results are kind of part of the uh, the entire package and not lose my mind in the process. So have a good one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.